Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Z modeler uh, to where you can actually import cars, open cars, and do all that stuff inside of Z modeler. I will make another video on how to do Z mod, uh, but we'll, we'll just jump straight into it. So, first thing you're going to do is I make a new folder, and I'm just going to name it Z mod. Sorry. Zmod. Inside of that, I usually, uh, sorry, I, I usually make a folder called Zmod or parts, whatever one. Spelled that wrong. I don't care. And then I do another folder inside of Zmod folder, Zmod, and this is where you put the exe and crap. So you're gonna go to this link which it will be in the description once you're there you're gonna download click whatever bit your PC is running on mine is 64 so just click download once it downloads open it up should have this and all you're gonna wanna do is just control A all of this click on one control A and drag it into the Zmod folder and then once you have that, double click this Z modeler. Actually, wait, no. I'm, I'm just going to show you guys how to get your uh, Z model key before we go on to this. So go to your account login, log in. And then you go to my computer. And then once you hit OK. This should prompt up. This is giving me your platform ID. Um, what you're going to want to do is my computers, add a new platform, put the platform ID, and then the description, and then make it or submit it or whatever it is. And then after you do that, you'll want to go buy a license. So click accept. Uh, whatever one here works, I just do PayPal. And then buy whatever key you want. So then once you buy that, you should have a key right here. Uh, so then you're going to click on it. You should only have this here. You just want to copy that. And then click, I think it would be OK. And then once you copy this, come over to here. Hold Shift. And then once it says failed, come back over to here. Go to validate, and then copy this, and then hold shift again. And then if that does not work, then you can do 32-bit, and then validate, okay, or 64-bit, validate, copy that, shift enter, or just shift, sorry. And then once you're done there, you can hit apply, okay, and then usually... It's not going to do it right now, but usually you will have multiple applications open. What you do is just end task for both of them and then open it back up. I recommend pinning it to your taskbar. Um, and then now, last thing I'm going to do is usually you see people um, have colors instead of this blue. I'm just going to teach you guys how to change the colors. So you go to this little question mark up here. No, oh, sorry go to this, this next to the question mark and then you go to colors and then I think I'm not sure which one it is I think it's this one I'm just gonna change the these ones to gray then you just hit apply okay close out of it um, then open back up, and then your colors have changed, so then you guys can fill around with that a lot, um, but that's it for this part, um, I'm gonna make another video on how to open cars, do tires and lifts to cars, and I'll see you guys in my next one.